Greetings everyone, Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 24th November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, while observing that even though high courts are not subordinate to it, the judgments of Supreme Courts must be given due respect as they are binding on everyone under Article 141 of the Constitution. The court has quashed the directions passed by the Telangana High Court which allowed Telangana Police Special Investigation Team to proceed with the investigation in the alleged TRS MLA's poaching case under the monitoring of the High Court. The court, while observing that the act of Madhya Pradesh government to declare results of state rounds before the AIQ rounds was contrary to the direction of the Apex Court, has directed the MP government to conduct state mop-up round of counselling for NEET PG courses afresh. The Supreme Court Constitution Bench has asked the Attorney General to produce files related to the recent appointment of Arun Goel, a former bureaucrat, as the Election Commissioner on November 19. The Court has held that State Electricity Commissions possesses full autonomy in the denomination and regulation of tariff and the State and the Central Government only have an advisory role in the regulation of tariff. News from the High Courts Starting with the Delhi High Court The Delhi High Court has held that the denial of caste certificate to the children of single mothers belonging to the other backward class on the basis of single mother's caste certificate appears to be patently arbitrary and discriminatory and referred to it as policy discrimination. The High Court has held that victim's statement under Section 164 of the CRPC disclosing the offence of rape shall be sufficient to frame charges against the accused under Section 376 of the IPC. News from the Madras High Court The Madras High Court has directed the district collectors of Tensaki, Tirunelveli, Kanyakumari, Coimbatore and Uti to form a committee to curtail illegal diversion of the natural flow of waterfalls by the private resorts to attract tourists. The High Court, while observing that government still has to provide separate burial grounds on communal lines even after 75 years of independence, has noted that situation must change and hoped that the state would bring a change by making at least burial and burning grounds common to all communities. News highlights from other High Courts The Bombay High Court has directed the Nagpur Municipal Corporation to check whether any stray dogs in the city have been collared without proper registration and also directed to remove any unauthorized collars and submit a compliance report regarding the same. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.